Welcome to One Journey. Let's make it count. We're going to focus on life. We're going to look at true crimes and we're going to link them with A, the Bible, B, we're going to link it with the mental health community and we're going to link it also with the law of the land because remember your actions have consequences. Now today we want to briefly pause for a moment and deeply apologize to all the victims that were hurt and all the disappointed citizens of the United States as well as abroad for this atrocious, atrocious act. Now, I want to talk about something. The very first thing I want to do is bring a definition in of the law of the land because we are doing white collar crime. And legally, really, this is not a crime. But it's a law called the, immun in the immunity law. Now, the immunity law um, protects certain per white collar professionals from their misconduct. Yes, they're protected. Now, today we're going to look at Linda Fierstein, and of course, we're also going to look at Elizabeth. All right? Now, one thing about Elizabeth and Linda is that they were responsible for being the prosecutors for the Central Park m rape, joggers rape, and they were the head of it. They were gonna be our super women. They were gonna be the most powerful women to help other women. Let's look at their story. Now, remember we talked about white collar crime, so even if they did something wrong, we cannot hold them, we cannot go after them legally. There's nothing, nothing's gonna happen to them. Now, um, Linda and Elizabeth, we wanna ask you, what happened? Ladies, what happened? You were our hero. A woman was raped in the park, and you guys were the prosecutors, and we were so excited. But something awful happened. Did you get set up? Did someone set you up? Who set you up? What happened? Two wonderful, beautiful, intelligent women. Did someone set you up? Who did you trust? These are some of the questions that we wanna, we wanna ask you. Was there a conspiracy for you to put five black boys in jail. Now, we're going to talk about what the Bible says. The Bible says, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. So, we shouldn't say things about our neighbors or anyone else, even in a court of law, that is not true. Let's find out how Linda and um, Linda Fairstein and Elizabeth got into this predicament. Now, what's cool about them is they were both Jewish girls. So we thought, oh man, great, a woman gets rape and two Jewish, Jewish warriors were going to go after them and get them. And the city was hyped. You know, women were happy. Wow, we have women fighting for women. Great. These Jewish girls came out of slavery. 400 years of slavery, the Egyptians grabbed them and held them and oppressed them. So they, they know about oppression. Then they ran into the Nazis. And they ran into Germany. And they ran into Russia and the oppression there. So surely we have victorious women that's going to resolve this, find this, fix it. But it came out to be the two minority woman, Jewish. Then there were five black boys, minority as well. Oh my gosh, what happened? The city was in an uproar. Everyone goes to Central Park. The Central Park joggers case. Rape. A woman is raped in Central Park. One thing about New York, we go out anytime of night we want to. And we don't expect to be robbed, raped, or you know, especially not in Central Park. I grew up in New York and going to the Central Park, 
I loved going skate in there, and I also loved going bike ride in there. It was where we played. When I, when I left high school and I was in college, I still drove my car, parked it in the garage, paid the 20 plus fee, and then went ice skating. Never, nothing. Went bike riding. I would hook on my bike, um, uh, my bike um, lasso onto my car, and I would hook my bike on, and we're gone. And my son and I were gone. We're gone to Central Park. Now, we, could, well, we also loved going up to Bear Mountain, but this particular, everybody uses this park. Everybody. And it's a New York thing. There's food there. You don't have to worry. Everything's fine. Cops are walking around. That's before cops liked killing black people and they were part of the immunity law. Shoot them, no problem. Hands up, shoot them, no problem. You know, the color of the skin determines, you can kill me, I'm black, even though I'm saying, yo, officer, my hands are up. I don't care if they just kill you. They're getting out of hand. I, you know, we've been telling the FBI, listen, you've been infiltrated. The military infiltrated by the white supremacy. You infiltrated the cops, all the police department infiltrated. They're looking into it. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a breach of trust. <laughs> when you trust lawyers and you trust doctors and you trust drudges and you trust tr cops because they have pledged, you know, they pledged, they pledged to watch out for citizens. So here we are. We got two Wonder Woman. It's going to be awesome. But the mental health community said a breach of trust came into play. A breach of trust came into play. A breach of trust. The inability to control impulses. Well, what? Because we're like, what happened to the team? What happened to the team? You're going to find out. A lack of moral sense. No change of behavior. Often we talk about self-correction. You have a whole team around you, nobody self-correcting? This is the mental, you know, the mental health. What happened? Emotional immaturity? No. These are wise, professional people. How are they immature? A lack of guilt of and self-centeredness. False witness. We can't bear false witness against our neighbors. It is not good. Now, Linda um, is focused on because, Fairstein, because she was the lead prosecutor. Elizabeth was too. She was. Okay. Um, so we asked the lady what happens. Was there a conspiracy? Rape a woman and then dethrone two powerful women. And then put all the women on the planet in place. Did someone set them up? What happened? These two prosecutors put five young black boys in jail. Almost eight years. No evidence. No, nothing. They were innocent. What happened? Breach of trust. Are they going to face any jail or anything? Oh, no. They have the immunity law. <clears throat> Here's what happened. A young jogger jogging in the park and was brutally raped. Unrecognizably. She couldn't even recognize when you saw her blood everywhere blood everywhere but there was no footsteps there was only one DNA found there wasn't several drag marks or <clears throat> footprints or anything around the body they said it was a gang of boys acting in concert with one mind that battered this woman so badly and the city was wounded. But we knew that Linda and Elizabeth was going to resolve this. They're educated, prepared themselves for this wonderful day. But we didn't know they were going to 
set up innocent black boys. We don't know how they even came to that decision. But when we found out that it was a big lie, years later, all five black boys were released. Um, and the, all they can say is a malicious persecution, racial discrimination case. Linda and Elizabeth, disgustingly, disgustingly, how could you do this? You both have uterus. You both have fallopian tubes. You both have mommies. How could you do this? So, wow, we were let down. As women, mm, we were let down <clears throat> and greatly disappointed. What happened? This is going to be Linda's avatar mm -hmm. because she's so excited about getting it done and we trusted her. But she's a disgraced lawyer now. She stole five lives and it is not her. Let me be very, very clear. It is not her. It's a host of people that's on that crew. Not Linda alone. Not Elizabeth alone that had that breach of trust. No. But when you're in a large team and you're working together, you do this part, I'll do this part, you do this part, I'll do this part. And we trust that when things are brought together, <clears throat> they're accurate. Because we all took pledges to serve. But that didn't happen. No DNA. No physical evidence. Who's not held responsible for wrongful conviction? The police, <clears throat> not held responsible. The prosecutors, the judge, not held accountable. Even if there's misconduct that leads to wrongful conviction, even if they behave badly, like fabricated, lied about evidence, altered evidence, stole evidence, they're not prosecuted. Even if they represent false testimony, you know, pookie. Pookie came to tell the story. Even if they refuse to consider proof of innocence, their footsteps are not there. Their DNA is not there. They weren't there. So what they in the park? I could have been in the park that evening. People hang out in the park. There's music. There's morning people, afternoon people, evening people, night people, early morning people. Getting in the jog, getting in the run. Not held. In the case of misconduct, they're not held responsible because that's our law. It's federal people, state people, local law people. <clears throat> Any enforcement officers? No. They have the immunity law. Government officials? <sighs> Even the investigators. Suppose you had some investigators. They may have had investigators on their team that fabricated and they were not aware of the fabrication. The rape woman is recovering. We have two warriors that came from Jewish backgrounds that won, that their people struggle. So they knew the struggle. They knew the burn. <clears throat> so we trusted them. They knew the struggle. They knew the burn. And we trusted them. Hmm. Beautiful women leading out this cause. We knew we had our Wonder Woman team. Okay? We trusted. The New York Times trusted them. The Daily News trusted them. The World News trusted them. NPR trusted them. And we stood with them. But we didn't know it was a lie. We didn't know it was fabrication. Five boys charged. Five boys convicted. Linda, Linda, Linda. What's going on? Assault? 
They assaulted her. They never did it. Robbery. They never did it. Riot. They never did it. Rape. They never did it. Acted in concert. They didn't even know each other. <laughs> Sexual abuse. If you see the tape I mean, and, and the, um, the way the, the, the investigation was going and the cops are like, did you plug her? You know, you should see how rude they are. There, some of them, one of them was what? Underage, did you care? And the weirdest thing happened. You're not, Linda and none of them are charge of anything, okay? They can go free and go have breakfast tea. They went on vacation. They were in jail and they went on vacation. They lived their lives and these five innocent black boys are in jail. Linda went on to write books. Yeah, we can trust her. No, liar, liar. Pants on fire. Where was your uterus? Where was your breast, your lactating breast? Where was the fallopian tube? Where was the mama? Where was the woman in you? What happened? I think the jogger was hurt. We trusted these two women to do the right thing, to fight for women. And we got fabrication. Accused them of sexual assault. Accused the boys of tempted murder. Locked them away. 1990, locked them away. How dare you? And they slept well. And they went to dinner parties. And they went to events. And they went to speeches. And they got better jobs. And they were pumped up, pumped up, pumped up. Because we thought they were the hero. We didn't have to second guess them. These are two Jewish women. People came out of slavery. 400 years of slavery. The Nazis were wiping them out. Never again will they march to the concentration camp. A great country now. Their flag waving and we support them. And we were taken for an evil, horrible ride. And they got signed confessions. Remember I told you there's a whole team. So if you drop off the signed confession to me and I trust that you have also taken the pledge, I mean not uh, Double check it. I may not, but guess what? You always gotta remember, you know who's looking? And you know who's listening? Journalist. I mean real journalist. I don't mean creepy creepy. I don't mean people who are gonna run with a story just to run with a story, but journalist. Real journalist. Real detective journalist. Gonna look at this and say, mm, how did, I don't know. Real journalist. You can't you're gonna hide from a real journalist now. Got signed confessions. Some of them no lawyer present. Ooh. 1989 to 2002. One man comes up. My name is Mr. Reyes. Yes, sir. The lady was not gang raped. It was me. I did it. And I deeply apologize for taking so long to come up and help the boys out. But I'm here now. Everything matched. Matisse, Ray, Ray, Reyes, everything matched. Gangster all the way. Yo. I can stand for my own. I don't have to blackmail nobody. But I got some things I gotta take care of. Next. <clears throat> so this criminal comes and he says, that's me, I did it. Everything matched. Linda and Elizabeth's case is blown up. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Whoa, the women, we cried. No, you got a uterus. No, you have a fallopian tube. No, no, no. Man, they started looking at women in New York like we were dirty, filthy liars. Oh, and we could not be trusted. Sure, our name is Eve and we can be deceived. But we weren't expecting to be the dece deceiver. And I think because my name is Eve and I can be deceived, that deception happened and maybe they didn't see it. There's a huge team. They were just piling it up, piling it up. And maybe they didn't see it. They didn't see 
not only is a rapist being a rape woman in, involved in this, but you have two minority women involved in this. Disrespect to the rape woman, disrespect to women. Disgraced. And boy, women in New York had to pay. Believe me, we paid because of the breach of trust. Can't trust women. Then all of a sudden, we weren't women or ladies anymore. We were B I T C. Shh. What? <sighs> Looked at us differently. Linda, Linda, Linda. But I think it's had to be some really massive setup. But guess who is going to from? He's going to be real. He has he has a parole coming up, Mr. Reyes, the rapist, and you know, rape and beat and rape and beat and rape and beat and and they swore, oh, it's five black men. It was one man, black and Latino men. No, it was one man. Liar, liar, your pants on fire. You think a journalist writer enjoyed writing a lie? You think the journalist didn't see the fabrication? Didn't see the evil cooking? Stewing? They saw it. But they had to bide their time. In the meantime, those five black boys are going through hell. Innocent. How are you going to give back innocence? But guess who they put up to hang? The two Jewish women. You don't hear nothing about the other team. You don't hear nothing about the cops. You don't hear nothing, nothing, nothing about anybody else. Just Linda. Put her there first. <coughs> and then Elizabeth. What? Okay. And it went around the world. It went around the world. But Mr. Reyes, the real rapist, he's up for parole 2022. That's next year. And if he gets parole, he can come out. He did do it eight years. Police, prosecutors, judges are not held accountable for misconduct. Lawyers, prosecutors, they're not held, con they're not held for for misconduct in court. Everybody else, I'll tell the truth, I'll tell the truth, I'll tell the truth, I'll do the right thing, but they cannot tell the truth and not be held responsible? How do we... Do you think that they should be held responsible? When are they held responsible? <sighs> Five young men lost years of their lives. Lost friends, lovers, neighbors, families destroyed. You don't destroy children, family, and the community. We don't destroy them. We don't destroy children, family, and the community. We don't do that. <clears throat> and I don't like the fact that they throw everything on Linda. Because, you know, as an executive, myself at some point, you know, things are given. I'm not double checking, hey, the CP, the, the accountant lie. You know, did marketing do something that was inappropriate? Knowing it was inappropriate? Did, did marketing make a lynch? A let's lynch white, let's lynch black people. Came, that came out of former slavery. Let's lynch them. Let's kill them. Let's put them up high on a tree. And people will just think, oh, he committed suicide. How did he get up there? Where's the car? Where's the ladder? They don't even leave any evidence behind. That you can say, oh, well, there was a ladder. Oh, the ladder had a shoe print on it. But, you know, no, no. And USA... Still has lynching laws approved on the law books? Come on. Come on. What do you 
think? What do you think is really going on? A woman raped and two Jewish women disgraced. And all the other women, we got the brunt of it. Because we thought we had a Wonder Woman team. And we were wrong. Fabrication of evidence. How many drag marks was there? How many, you know, how, how many footprints? How many DNA? No evidence. But the city was so mad and ready for resolution that they gave the city resolution. But what about your womb? What about your fallopian tube? What about your lactating breast? You took those, those mommies? You took the kids from their mom? From their parents? And you know the police, the spawns from hell. They must have messed them up. They probably thought they were safe around these cops. Mm -mm. No, because now you're disgraced. You don't hear those cops' names out there. You don't hear their names out there. You do not hear their names out there. Who you hear? Linda Fairstein. Her name can be out there. And then, all of a sudden, we're not ladies anymore, we're not women anymore, we're not nannies, we're not aunties, we're the bees. <clears throat> and we're disgraced. Five innocent boys, you hooked to your train and pulled them along. Please, Linda, before you die, Elizabeth, before you die, please put the story, put it, put it in a story. Let us know what really happened because I think there was a setup. I think they, a woman was destroyed and then they came back and they wanted to destroy two other women and then destroy the women that were rooting for you. Yay, 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 yay. Go Linda, go Linda. Go Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. You are our queen. Boy, and we were crushed in. It was terrible. It was terrible for us. Crushed in. What happened? Who set you up? Who did you trust? Was there a conspiracy? They love calling. One thing about the New York City, it's so multicultural. And if you go to public school like I did, it's very multicultural. You get to meet the Jews. You get to meet the Japanese, the Chinese. You know, the Jews girls always cool. And the Jewish dudes always cool. Both of them have big penises, big yonkers. Huge, huge. Okay, both of them. And, <clears throat> and the Jewish girls cool. They wear wigs, we wear wigs. Cool. We understand it. We're cool. The Italian women, cool. No issues. The Chinese women were cool. They ain't cool no more. The Japanese women, little still delicious, but still cool. Because they like our men. Most of them like our men. Huh. And, and a Russian is cool. The German women, they were cool. Because we all work together. We would leave our respectful neighborhoods and would all come together, work together, and then we'd go home. Travel safe. <clears throat> See you tomorrow. Good morning. Sometimes we'd all buy our coffees at the same place. Indian cook? Cool, cool. We all liked eating different cultures, so we would not only say, oh, I have a Russian um, on my job. So you say, well, what's a good restaurant? And they would say, hey, go to my cousin's restaurant, especially the Italians. You know exactly where you're going. Tell them I sent you. Mm. Always interacting. The Jamaicans, interacting. The Cubans, come on. The island ones, please. They're so much alike. But... We weren't feeling that tension until all of a sudden women were showing that we couldn't be trusted. Huh. My name is Eve and I can be deceived. And I think there was a conspiracy to destroy the trust of women. Because mommy's trusted. To, and you know, pick on the least, um, <clears throat> the, the, pick on the poor, pick on the, 
the, the, the, the, the ones that are poor because guess what? They don't have no money to fight and they don't know nothing. And <clears throat> they don't understand that books equal money. So let's go find some poor kids that went after them. She didn't, the rapist didn't want lies. She wanted you to find the real person. Her doesn't want lies. So you made it worse. First, you take her case and you put it out there. You play with it like it's a toy. And it was her horror story. It was her horror story. Her misery. And oh, yay, two women are doing it. And then what happened? You messed up. <sighs> Don't die. Just please put it, figure it out what happened. Go through the paperwork. Write it up before you die. When you die, you can release it. But don't lie and don't fabricate because, you, know, you know, you need to fix this because there's other women coming behind you so that they are not easily fooled, not easily tricked. Because, I mean, if I, if, the, if I got a report from the doctor, okay. If I got a report from, you know, the, the psychiatrist, okay. And it, like I said, the immunity law, that's going to happen. The five black boys are now free. They're on their own. You know. In therapy. The, the, the police have gotten more evil. Hands up, still shoot. Put your phone down. That's the new thing. Put your phone down. Can't take what they're dealing with you. So now Amazon has these real citizen body cams you can start wearing. Chevy is coming out with cameras, 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 cameras. You know, they even have the Wi-Fi in the car. So, you know, you don't have to have, you know, the phone in your hand or the body cam. They got you. Other companies are coming out to say, how can we help protect citizens? Not just black citizens, white citizens, all citizens of the United States. All of them. How do we protect that Indian girl? We have to protect everyone. Why? Because if the police have been infiltrated by evil, friendly evil, then hands up, kill them. That hate is going to be layered and layered and layered. And you're not going to see the hate because what? They're layering it. They don't want you to see this. They don't want you to see this. They don't want you to see that there's evil behind there. Because friendly evil wants you only to see this. And next thing you, and they're waiting for the opportunity. Like the cop. The guy's running. He shoots him five times. Liar, liar. Your pants on fire. He's in jail now. But, but you know what? His family lost. Because someone got in his head and told him it was okay to treat another person. you telling me the color of my skin is your problem? The box says, can the Ethiopian change its spot? Can the, can the Ethiopian ch change the spot? Can the leopard? Can, it, can they change the spots? Yeah. Come on. Can an Indian change the way their hair is or the color of their skin? They're protected from that sun, honey. The Africans, they're protected from that sun. You can be as white as you want to and go get that sun. Now, why would the, the European even... Um, I, I'm not sure what's going on. Listen. I want to tell you something. We just want to say thank you for watching. And please, uh, support the channel by leaving a comment. Tell me how you've thought about the disappointment of the conspiracy of putting five black boys away. Or do you think the women were set up? And how disrespectful men became to women after that case. So like. Like the video, please. It allows YouTube to recommend it. And subscribe. Click that notification bell because it lets you know when I've posted a new video. And share on social media or with your family. Let your family come in and look. Because, you know, I'm 60 years old. And I'm talking about the era I had to walk through before I exit this world. 
We're not here to stay. We're just passing through. And I have no issues with that. But I want to share with you some of the things that I observed. And, <clears throat> and please, I'm going to put some of the sources in the, in the description box below so that you can read those articles. A breach, a breach of public trust. That's what mental health said. Okay? A breach of public trust. Linda Fairstein and Elizabeth Leder, L-E-D-E-R-E-R, -E -E Leder, two Jewish women that were championing the cause, but they wind up coming out dirty and muddy. You know that's a setup. Mm-mm. No. Guess what happened? We have a request by a viewer named Sheena. And she wants me to do Janet Chrisman. What's about Janet? Guess what? Unsolved. It's not, it's not even cold anymore, the case. It's unsolved. Her murder. We're going to look at that. That's coming up next. And I also have a special series coming up. And it's going to be um, Exterminate All the Brutes. And this is the HBO documentary. You can go to HBO and watch it. It's free someplace all over online. People talking about it. Colleges talking about it. We're going to talk about it. Okay? Now, um, it's by Steve, Michael. We have Rox, um, Roxanne. And we have the writers, Peck. And we also have um, the musician, Agu. A-I. A-I-G-U. Agu. And we're going to have fun with Exterminate the Brutes. What is it about? What is it about? It's about co co Europe and their how they colonized and how they behaved towards those that they decided to colonize. It is an awesome documentary. And at some point, I'm going to do Your Eyes on the Prize. And we're going to do a couple of other things, too. Um, because the Japanese were, they, they have a story too we want to tell, okay? Well, you know what? A lot of, now, growing up in New York, everybody had a story about what the white man did or what the white colonists did. did. So, we're going to look at those stories. We're going to do, but well, we're going to really follow the documentary. There's only four parts and we're going to follow that. And um, so we have some up list, upcoming playlists for you as well. Thank you for coming by please um remember we only have one journey let's make it count and your actions have consequences so stay above ground and enjoy your journey thank you my name is one journey